Let's talk about the young fresh legs of the Zambia national soccer team. So it was Zambia versus Portugal. Beston Chambeshi is the man who is in charge of that team that is representing Zambia and the continent as African champions. Let's just have a look at the starting lineup that he chose ahead of this game. Now, uh, 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 McPherson, Momba, uh, very quickly, I noticed one thing, that our tactics in our opening game against Portugal were a mirror image of what we wanted to do against Guinea at Hero Stadium because name for name, position for position, that was the exact starting lineup that we started with. Yeah, Zita, you're right. In fact, you were doing one four four two. Even in the other games, the uh, Afcon, those were. I think that's what that was uh, the lineup where we had three strikers, uh, which to me, uh, having Luchanga, Fashion, and. Uh, Edward, uh, Edward as well, wide? No, uh, and three strikers. Patson, of course. Uh, playing them three at one time, we look at it to be uh, we have a lot of goals, uh, which to me wasn't the case because uh, I think the boys were a bit jittery. They didn't uh, stick to that. Only, only the time when uh, uh, we had that uh, substitute, first substitute of which Patson came back, then the boys came to the party. Okay, so that was the situation there. Uh, some selection that he chose against Manju Diallo, uh, against Guinea in that opening game against uh, Guinea at the Heroes National Stadium. So, here's the drill. So, we wanted to hear what kind of impact that Zambia national soccer team under 20 performance sent to Portugal. To the Iberian Peninsula, when conversation with João Miguel Ferreira, Portuguese coach, uh, gave us his prognosis and diagnosis of the game that was that saw Zambia conquer two goals to one against the team from the Iberian Peninsula. Hi, my name is João Ferreira, and I am a football coach from Portugal with UEFA I license. And I'm here to speak with you about uh, the game of um, yesterday between uh, your uh, national team Zambia uh, against my national team Portugal in the World Cup under 20. Uh, and first, uh, first step is to give you the congratulations for the the win. I saw the match, and uh, I think in the first half. Uh, Portugal was not uh, very strong. Uh, the first uh, five minutes, ten minutes was good, uh, but after that, the Zambia national team, um, I think, uh, uh, grew up in the in the match and uh, did a good a good uh, first half. Uh, anyway, I think um, not uh, control the game with the ball. I think control the game without the ball, Go, control the spaces and give uh, very few chances to Portugal and uh, made uh, some uh, nice fast uh, counter-attack and uh, uh, make uh, two or three shots uh, very good and uh, even uh, can score the goal. But uh, the Portuguese goalkeeper, Diogo Costa, the youngest in the match of yesterday, did a very good defense. Uh, when uh, one of the best, if, if not the best, your player, Pat Sandaka, uh, which play in uh, Redburg, Salzburg in um, Austria, when uh, he out of the match, uh, I think that uh, will be the definitive um, step for Portugal win the match, sincerely. Uh, but uh, <laughs> it did not happen, and uh, Emmanuel Banda, which uh, plays in Portugal, in a small team of Portugal, he goes. Uh, he did w good, good match in uh, midfield, attack midfield, in center of the match. Um, he have a very good left foot and did a well, uh, good, a good uh, job. Uh, in second half. Uh, in the first 10 minutes, Portugal was not in the match and uh, Zambia enjoy, enjoy and play very well. 
scored one uh, one goal for uh, Shilufia and um, after that Portugal grow create many many chances but uh, uh, not uh, finish well uh, the, the situations uh, most of them uh, not even in the goal just out out of the goal uh, your your um, goalkeeper Mangani Banda did some uh, good defenses um, but I think uh, your team uh, after the goal uh, goes down in the pitch too much uh, your defense line was very very low in the pitch and uh, it gave some um, many space for Portuguese player to, to play and organize uh, the um, his, uh, his uh, situations and um, uh, in the one more contra attack I think you finalize it very 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 well uh, fashion Sakala good uh, very good job and uh, enter in the um, box and uh, scores 2-0 uh, for Zambia and after that uh, I think Portugal lose the, the head and uh, play for the lucky and uh, was lucky <laughs> and so score a goal uh, I think Zambia is not good because uh, play with less concentration in that uh, 19 minutes and uh, Portugal can score. Uh, I think uh, Zambia was uh, good in the match. Uh, give the control for Portugal, for the uh, ball, give the ball for Portugal. Uh, lose the control in uh, after the 10 minutes of uh, second half. Was lucky because Portugal missed so many chances. Uh, but that after the second goal, uh, the, match, the match finished for Portugal. Portugal was not good, and uh, your your national team stay more tranquilized and uh, did a good uh, la uh, last ten minutes. Now two one for you. Con congratulations! You are in the first uh, place uh, of the group. You will play with uh, Iran, uh, and I think you have many many chances to go ahead in the, for the next 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 phase. Uh, I wish you lucky, and uh, I hope um, Zambia good uh, a very a very nice uh, World Cup. Uh, I think you have the experience. You have good quality players. I hope Patsandaka recover from his injury. And uh, I think if you stay more and um, concentrate in the in the um, center of pitch, if you um, uh, put your uh, central back more um, concentrate, more uh, together, for because I th I think I feel. Uh, I see, I saw uh, uh, many spaces between your uh, four defense. I, I think the four defense, the line should be more uh, uh, close between the players. Uh, you cannot give so many spaces for the other opposite uh, team. Okay, welcome back. Zambia's premier analysis here is what you tuned in to. So now, interesting observation that uh, Joao Ferreira makes right there. One, defending too deep and perhaps we can't overemphasize that so Portugal create a lot of opportunities and according to him we were lucky that we didn't get beat yesterday. No true uh, it was lack of concentration like he has put it we are defending too deep I think even uh, we are leaving too many too big uh, uh, spaces like he has put it uh, straight we need to be compact uh, so that uh, we disturb those uh, uh, passes. Okay, Vespa, um, and, and we're talking about compactness, and, and perhaps that's the thing about quote-unquote African teams. We've got strength, we've got skill, we've got the speed, but when it comes to tactical discipline and remaining compact, how, how much does that worry you that we were able to leak as many opportunities as we leaked against the Portuguese? Thank you, Zite. Uh, yeah, it looked like we were too much uh, comfortable on the ball. 
especially when we have the ball, but we lose it very cheaply. Our players, yes, we have uh, a lot of skill. We can do anything with the ball. We can run with the ball. We can dribble. Yes, if you look at uh, the, our, our wingers, uh, the way fashion is the other side and the, uh, the, 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 uh, the other wing, you know, we can uh, play an attacking uh, uh, football, which even if you look at uh, the, the, his system our coach is using, is that we should do at least be getting uh, early, early goals uh, because the, it's, it's a tournament, it's not a game whereby you just play and maybe you, you wait for, 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 for the, other, the other week. But it's a game which uh, you have to play and get, uh, get uh, uh, more goals. Uh, through maybe the attacking from the, the, the same wings we are, we are talking uh, uh, about. Okay, so that was the situation. Let's just have a look at the match statistics, shall we, and probably just see what we really meant. We leaked a lot of opportunities, but look at that. The Portuguese had 21 shots off target, 21, except for some potence in front of goal, which was characteristic of uh, Momba Ngandu in his head as. That's too many chances. They can't mm. complain about the, the team not being able to create opportunities. True. You're right, Zita. As Zita has showed, meaning there are too much spaces whereby they were even free to shoot from all angles. So we need just to tighten up so that we avoid the... Because eventually they can score in if you give them a lot of chances. Okay, so that's the thing. What would you like us to do? <sighs> But again, to what extent, Vespa, can we can best on Chambeshi engage you right now? Go and tell the boys you need to close up these spaces. Can they learn that lecture in one or two training sessions and we become okay? Or it's it's maybe something that we haven't been doing ever since we were under seventeen and and throughout their development phase. Yeah, it's difficult uh, right now to adjust on, on, on the system, maybe like uh, the one you've already started. Uh, the only thing we can do right now uh, with Beston, especially from when we are attacking from, from the defense to the midfield and the, the attack, uh, Mangani, yes, is a very good uh, goalkeeper, but we need him to be an attacking goalkeeper. He's a defensive goalkeeper. No wonder you find every time he's always on, on, on his line. Yes, he's a good goalkeeper, but we need him to push his guys from the, the defense. No wonder sometimes you could see the way they are standing in defense. The num his number five and his number four, sometimes they collide. It's because of the way they, they, they are standing. There's no communication in between the goalkeeper and the, his defenders early before you start the ball. So M Mangani needs to leave his line. Close that gap behind the defense because... A couple of times, we, we showed them that space behind uh, uh, Solomon, Sakala, yeah. and uh, Nyondo. Yes, that's true, Zite. So we need the Mangani to push his, his defense and him too to be the, the last man. The last man. 